So this part number, that's the wrong part, number two. You might have time in class to finish it today, um, but if not, complete that between now and Friday. So two, you can complete at the end of class if we have a little bit of time, but if we can't, make sure that you go back and do it. So we just did um, confidence intervals for a mean, and now we're going to look at confidence intervals for a proportion. The good news is the process is exactly the same. So if I hold up for you guys the same worksheet for the mean, it's they look exactly the same. The only thing that changes is the point estimate that you're working with. I had a really good question yesterday about, well, how do I know when I'm working with a proportion or a mean? And the problem will tell you. So in all the ones we just did, it said find the confidence interval for the mean, confidence interval for the mean salary, confidence interval for the mean week, week, weekly weight loss. And now all of our problems are going to say proportion. Find the confidence interval for the true proportion. 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 So it's always going to tell you in the prompt which one you're working with. The setup is the same. We're still doing what, how, and conclude. And literally, we do basically everything the same, except for this time, instead of finding an average, where you add all the numbers and divide, you're finding a percent. So um, our example for this one is, according to a recent study, not everyone can roll their tongue. A researcher observed a random sample of 300 adults and found 68 who could roll their tongue. Construct and interpret a 90% confidence interval for the true proportion of adults who can roll their tongue. So just like in all of our previous examples, we're gonna use that in our sentences. This is the same as last time. So we want to estimate the, and then I'm coming up here, true proportion This is just a reminder that that's P of adults who can roll their tongue and we want to do that with 90% confidence. Okay, this confidence table, confidence level and critical values is the, exactly the same as before. And this formula is the same. We're just switching out X bar for P hat. So in this case, our point estimate is P hat. is equal to well we took a sample of 300 adults so that's going to be my bottom and I'm going to fill that in for n while I'm at it and of those 300 68 said they could roll their tongue so if I convert that to a percent it's 0.23 then for you guys, I'm going to highlight in my notes where I got that just so that um, it's clear and we feel okay. So I got this fraction from this sentence in the prompt. We found 300 adults 
or we sampled 300 adults and found 68 who could roll their tongue. So I've highlighted those in the same color so that I can remember where did I get this fraction and look at the prompt. Okay, standard error, the formula will look familiar. Unfortunately, it's the big old radical. And in the top, we put p hat times 1 minus p hat. And in the bottom, we put n. So this is similar to what we would do for sampling distributions. So this is 0.23 times 1 minus 0.23 is 0.77 divided by 300. So I'm going to round that to 0 0.0243. When you're finding the point estimate, it's easier to just go two decimal places. But then when you find the standard error, I, I try to go a little bit more so that we can be as accurate as possible. Then lastly, we just need our critical value from the table. So we're at 90% confidence. That's 1, 6, 4, 5. So just like before, I'm going to draw my line. Zoom out, document viewer. Holy moly. And now I'm going to follow this formula to make my confidence interval. So my point estimate, 0.23, so 23% of my sample could roll their tongue, plus or minus our critical value, 1.645 times our standard error, 0 0.0243. And then it's exactly the same as all the other ones. I find my lower bound and my upper bound. I rounded to two decimal places on this one. So I'll write up my answers in like 30 seconds. About 15. Okay, for the lower bound, I got about 19%. For the upper bound, I got about 27%. So now, you guys try your conclude statement without me because it, it follows the same pattern as before. Okay, all unfreeze in about one minute. Thank you. 
about 10. Okay, so we're 90% confident that the true proportion of adults who can roll their tongue is anywhere between 19% and 27%. That's not very many. Either one works here. If you prefer the decimal, you can write that. And if you like the percent, you can write that. Okay, so we are going to um, do number three next. But first, let's do the question for part two in our module. So it's just one confidence interval it just wants you to calculate the lower bound and the upper bound so let's take about two minutes to do that and then we will do number three so i'll pause my record i'm gonna have you guys try number three um all on your own and then i will show you my solutions in like four minutes so you're following the same process even though it's for a mean you're doing the same thing there that you're doing here you just have a p hat instead of an x bar so you're going to try to do three and then we're going to compare our answers <laughs> 